Here in this video, we will discuss the history of the Statue of Liberty. The sculpture encompasses some fascinating facts, and here are a few things that you need to know. The Statue of Liberty had not been a gift from France to America. A well-known fact has been that the sculpture was transferred from one government to another. Frederick August Bartholdi, as a statue maker, never had a dream to put up a lighthouse in a feminine figure. When there was no governmental funding, he decided to contrive every possible aspect for fundraising by himself. Later, it was Joseph Pulitzer who helped him complete his work. This strategy helped to boost the circulation of Pulitzer's paper with a brilliant marketing strategy. This is a 22-storied structure that measures 305 feet and 1 inch. It contains a star-shaped fort which was once home to families of military. In recent times, it is however used as a pedestal. It is an unknown fact that the statue had been initially considered for the Suez Canal, situated in Egypt. Bartholdi had not created a basic blueprint of liberty for America. He visited Egypt and was influenced to do a project that would involve building a canal between the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. At the World Fair of Paris in 1967, he encountered the leader of Egypt and proposed the creation of a work that is wondrous and pyramidal. He decided to design a colossal woman dressed up like a slave and holding a lamp to stand at the lighthouse axis of Suez Canal. The ideal of Egypt had fallen off, which resulted in deciding to quest to America for pitching his colossus. Americans had been extremely slow to welcome the statue of Bartholdi. Do you know how excited the Americans were to be home to a new monument? Let us know in the comment section below. The support for fundraising was extremely low. The statue took 15 years to be finished in Paris, and that was before the Americans decided to finally embrace it. The torch of the statue was built in Philadelphia. Until 1916, visitors were allowed to climb to the top of this torch. Bartholdi finally acquired a lot of funds for building the head of the sculpture. With funds being taken from the exhibitions, Bartholdi received the desired funds to proceed as per estimation. As he was not very pleased with the reception of Philadelphia, he considered giving it to New York instead. In 1882, when final construction was made in Paris, efforts of fundraising had been stalling around New York. For this, a play had been made by Boston. An editorial in New York Times mentioned that Boston had proposed to obtain the ignorance of the Statue of Liberty and create its name for attaining glory and its own use. The editorial also read, This statue is dear to us, though we have never looked upon it, and no third great town is going to step in and take it from us. Philadelphia and the Fair of 1876 tried to do exactly that, but failed to do it in a major way. In the editorial, it was also stated about the warning given to Boston and that she can take away the liberty, and that the statue of the enormous lighthouse would be shattered into pieces before it gets fixed up in the Boston Arbor. Many of us do not know that the statue was at first known to be a lighthouse. When Ulysses made a grant regarding the employment of Bedloe Island for the statue, it had been specified that the statue would be a lighthouse. Such a thing would give a purpose to women and add credit to the government funding it. As time grew, it became apparent that the location of Bedloe's island was too internal for the lighthouse. Many of us do not know that Bartholdi had initially planned to cover the statue in gold. Bartholdi had proposed that Americans should raise money to gild her for making the statue visible to the people even during the dark. However, no one followed up on making the investment for outlining the statue in gold. The locations of Central Park and Prospect Park were considerable locations for the New York City. After the arrival of Bartholdi in New York in 1871, Brooklyn's Prospect Park and the well-framed Central Park had been considered as a basic location for the sculpture. If the location of the statue had been chosen to be on Central Park, the famous Dakota apartment would have found it impossible to occupy a significant position. No one could believe that plans were being made for making a statue talk. During the introduction of Phonograph in 1978, he mentioned that he had been designing the monster disc for the central design of the statue. He thought that the statue would be able to convey speeches that could be heard up to the northern part of Manhattan and far up to the bay. People could actually walk into the street and get audible noises from the Statue of Liberty talking. There was a time when the statue was unveiled in the month of October 1886. Women's rights groups had made lamentation for a massive feminine structure that would stand in the harbor of New York in lieu of liberty, but most of the women of America had no right to vote. There were only two women who came to the unveiling of what was identified as the Liberty Island. 
They were Bartholdi's wife and a 13-year-old daughter of a French designer named Ferdinand de Lesseps, who had constructed the Suez Canal. Suffragettes had crafted a boat to make a circle around the island during its unveiling. There were speeches of protest that had been blasted by them, but there was no scope of hearing them due to the sounds of stream whistles. I hope all of you who are watching this video have been able to gather fruitful information about the topic. If you liked this video, do not forget to share and subscribe to this channel. Do give us your feedback and a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon so that you never miss another video from us. And comment below to let us know what you want to hear from us in the next video. See you next time.